Hi guys, good morning, Mary Jane here. So I am coming on today to do Tis the Season to Get Crafty. Wagman510, she did the 10, she came up with this 10 questions and answers, Tis the Season to Get Crafty. Well, I found out I was tagged by two people, Chef Dylan and friends, Hey Bobby Joe Fay, and Country Girl first. Hi, sweetie. So, I am going to get started. Um, I hope I answer these uh, right, and I hope I get them in order. <laughs> but, question number one. What color or palette are you using for the holidays? Well, in my home... I am a traditional. I love my theme is um, traditional, but I do like the buffalo check. Um, I'm into the you know the truck and all that, but very traditional at home. And in crafting, I would say both pastel and traditional is where I'm going. Um, last year, I really didn't get a chance to craft. Um, you guys uh, know I lost my father, so um, last year was not a good um, year for me. Okay, number two, what drink makes you feel immediate, immediately like the holiday season? Well, that is so easy and simple for me. I would definitely say hot cocoa and eggnog, definitely, um... Always have hot cocoa and eggnog um, is something that I always have. Um, definitely. So that is right away, instantly makes me think of the holiday season. Okay, number three. What is your favorite holiday craft and why? Um, I'm going to say my favorite holiday craft this year that I've been seeing is the embellishment boxes that everybody been making. People have made some beautiful embellishment boxes and I absolutely love them. Here is one that I started. Um, I'm like in love with them so much. Um, I gotta put a bell back on there. But yes, I would say embellishment boxes this year um they're very popular um through all the um swaps so yes um embellishment boxes number four what's your favorite holiday memory okay guys <laughs> this this one is going to be a long <laughs> probably a long answer well as you guys may know from my last um uh question thing the fall answer things whatever that was well you know uh, my background is hungarian and i'm um catholic irish as well my dad is full hungarian so we have a lot of hungarian traditions that i did as a child um so my memory would be a hungarian tradition is um my mom, um, we did this for a little while as we were young, but then when we got older, we did the regular tradition, but a Hungarian tradition is a grandma, a grandparents would take us somewhere for the day on Christmas Eve, and then the, my mom and dad would decorate the tree, so when we come back, a uh, tradition is the angels decorated the Christmas tree. Okay, and then following that, we would um, have a huge um, Hungarian dinner, which was, it's like a fish, but I I know we never ate a, uh, we never ate that as a child, us kids. Cabbage, um, there's just a lot. And then follows with midnight mass, and then it would be Christmas morning, but we, um, Hungarian tradition is Santa Claus does come but the we were raised as it's the angels brought the gifts so 
And that memory um, always stuck in my mind um, because it was just a very joyful and loving feeling. It's very hard to explain. I'm sure you guys all have that feeling. But as we got older, um, my mom and dad decided, because my dad's full Hungarian, and he wanted to give us some of those uh, traditions of being Hungarian. He grew up that way. Um, but I know as being Hungarian, um, you know, the tradition is that the children would go with the grandparents for the day and then come back, and the angels decorated the Christmas tree followed by a big dinner and a bit, um, midnight mass. But um, over the years, we had changed that tradition. But that is one of my fondest, fondest memories for a very long time. And I will hold that forever. Um, yeah, very, I don't, this is so emotional. Okay, I don't, okay, number five. What is the one holiday crafty item you would love to receive? Um, the one crafty item that I would love to, to receive, um, that is number five. Um, I would love to receive from one of my loved ones, somebody. I, it might sound like you don't have that, but I want, I don't know why, I want the one and two, three envelope punch, or just the regular envelope punch. I don't know why I want it, but I want it. <laughs> okay, number six. What is the one crafty supply uh, you received this season? I think I got these back uh, confused. What is the one holiday crafty item you would love to receive? Oh, the one crafty item I would love to receive would be maybe like a homemade um, Christmas ornament or like what Wagman said, like a stocking or like a... Um, you know, the the mitts with your name on it, or something like that. I would definitely love. And then, for what um, crafty supply I would love to receive would be um, envelope punch, something like that. Board, I mean, is what I really, really wanted. So bad. Anyway, number seven. What is the one treat you eat only um, the holiday season? Okay. <laughs> Being Hungarian again, guys, we, um, and this is all, this is my mom too. Um, I don't know if you guys, we always had popcorn balls. I don't know if you guys remember those popcorn balls were always around the, the whole holidays. Um, we always have, um, the, the cherries, chocolate covered cherries were always around. Hungarian cookies, like they're called treasures, so good. Snowball cookies. Uh, kafala cookies, um, these are traditional, um, Hungarian cookies, um, yeah, and, uh, definitely cookies and stuff like that, I'm sorry, um, so definitely that stuff is always, um, the one treat we eat, uh, just, you know, for the holidays would be the Hungarian um, cookies, the popcorn balls, uh, treasure, snowball, kaifleff cookies, um, um, chimneys, they're called, they're so good, cookies. Okay. Um, number eight, what smell, what smells like the holiday season to you? Um, I am allergic to pine, like Wagman. I am highly allergic to pine. I have asthma. Um. I used to get a real Christmas tree, come to find out. Um, that's why I was having asthma attacks. So, no pine candles, no pine scents. But, one, the smell to me that reminds me of um, the holiday would be bacon, cookies, uh, pies, um, like a um, vanilla cookie smell. That reminds me of Christmas. I don't know why, but it do does. Number nine, what favorite, oh my god, sorry, what favorite, uh, is your favorite paper pad? Guys, I don't, I'm not able to, um, purchase a lot of things, but the one pad that I would love to get, there's quite a few, Coco, uh, Snow and Coco, and Mrs., Miss Claus, I think it is, 
um, those two paper pads I would love to have. Love. And, um, never got a chance to get, I think it's the, um, Baby Santa, I think it's called. I'm not sure. But I know it's the pink one. Um, it's been out for two years, I think. I don't know, but I always wanted it, and I never got it. Okay, number ten. This is the last one. What, what, what's the one craft you make every year? Okay, so... There's another tradition, um, being Hungarian, we always, it's called a Avit table, um, tablescape. Um, the leaves on there mean, it's a meeting for, um, I think 12 days of, of them. So I always make this, um, Avit candle. You put a candle, and it has to have this special flower. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but that's the one thing I make every single year. Um, yes. Um, I think I answered, answered all of those questions. Um, I um, have everything written down. I hope I didn't mess it up, but I am going to tag the bag lady, Gina Mama. Kimberly Cochran, Beauty Boss Planner, Sh Shirley Will Williams, Mary Savato, Hazel Uray, ASMR, Blind, Soft, Whispering, and Scratching. I tag you wonderful ladies, and thank you to Chef Dylan f and friends, and Bobby Joe Fay, hey, and Country Girl First for tagging me, and thank you to Wagman510 for um, doing this. This is pretty cool. Tis the season to get crafty. I hope I answered these questions to the best of my ability. Um, but yes, I just want to wish everyone a wonderful day. And I will see you guys all later. Bye.